I got a whole table over there lined up with headphones and pipe bombs just waiting for you with your name on it. You're now listening to Pain Train Pipe Bomb. I got a whole table over there lined up with headphones and pipe bombs just waiting for you with your name on it. You're now listening to Pain Train Pipe Bomb. Warning, this, this audio or video, video may contain, contain explicit, explicit language or extreme views. views. Discretion, Discretion is advised. Okay, let's do this fucking shit. Pain Train Productions presents Pain Train Pipe Bomb. Starring Ricky, a.k.a. The Prez, Karasu, a.k.a. Beefcake, and Melissa, a.k.a. The E.P., you can find us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch by searching Pain Train Pipe Bomb. Our merchandise can be found on Spreadshirt.com and Redbubble.com. Our intro music is Insanity Control. Welcome back, everybody. It's fucking Thursday night. It is 3-21-2019. It is exactly one week before the two-year anniversary of the show. Yeah. It is also his motherfucking eight birthday. days before my fucking 42nd birthday. You're an old bitch. Hey, lick a testicle. I already have one of my own. And they're That's why I said it. Lick a fucking But if testicle. you could lick your own testicles. I can't do that shit. Marilyn that, Manson, you Marilyn could Manson be does that like shit. like a porn god if you could lick your own testicles. Hell okay, no. Okay, somehow the fucking laptop decided to say, hey, fuck you. Yeah, and what I you call it? I got a stiff dick in an airplane out. somewhere. Motherfuckers. We'll fix that issue in a minute. So how's everybody doing, man? How was y'all week? I know my week was great. All right, so here is a, cr a chronic downfall for me mm -hmm. using this background tonight. Yeah. Nobody can read the fucking credits. Word. So um, <laughs> I I'm going to change that right now. <laughs> oh, damn it. I like um, that background. Too, I, I kind of did like the trippy background. However, it... you can't see anything on it. It kind of yeah, all blends. So uh, it's gay. we do have some other ones. I think we can run that one. It's a yeah, little... that, that one looks pretty good. That one you can read it. Yes, Neil. People's names you can't read, but no, again, right. like what in no, Neil. You know, like not everything is fucking going ding, crazy. Neil. Ding, but yes, ding. Yes. We can uh, flip that right there. Flip that. Yeah. And now everybody can fucking read themselves on the screen. <laughs> flip that shit, motherfucker. Yes. <laughs> so, so there is a little bit of rage tonight. Oh. The title of the show is "The Rage Is Coming." Okay. I want to give people an update. On the Update. Wix situation from last week. Update. We still haven't now, found no fucking clue. One of our <laughs> viewers, uh, Stacy Schaefer, who's in our chat right now, um, has offered to help us build pipebomb.com. Or paintrapepipebomb.com. So, in an effort to get it off of GoDaddy, because apparently they're belligerent idiots Go Daddy. that don't know how to use proper programming, we decided we were going to move it to Wix. So it's a little bit user-friendly and a little bit easier mm -hmm. to update every week. But apparently Wix has an issue with their customer service. I really have to turn this thing on fucking... The Facebook people love me in the groups and shit, but that's not happening Mr. Tonight. Popularity. Um, because we have two new groups in the that we've shared the show to. One of them is from Cali. It's called Dell Radio. Okay. In a an, a an event for our friend Gabriel to get us on a radio yes. station out there. Mm -hmm. Um. So, I call Wix earlier in the day, mm -hmm. and now, mind you, we found out that they are only open till four p.m. Eastern Standard Time, one o'clock in the fucking afternoon in California. Now they changed their hours on there. It says five a.m. to five p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So they're now open, supposedly, from 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, so there's a little bit of an advantage on this. Here it comes. You call the fucking phone number. Here it comes. It's 
so fucking automated. White guy anger. All right, Jesus Christ. And to top it all off, when you fucking call there, right? It says go to Wix.com forward slash support and schedule a callback. <laughs> schedule. When you schedule the callback, when you click on the tab, it brings you to 800 fucking different links <laughs> to hopefully solve your problem without fucking talking to a person. <laughs> so now I've gone from they close fucking early <laughs> the shimmy shoulders. to now them having fucking a 12 hour fucking shift that they're supposed to have people to talk to you. To hitting the fucking callback request button, <laughs> and you still do not get the chance to talk to some human garbage who is supposed to be helping you out. So now, in this whole miraculous event, I have now decided I am giving the double bird to Wix and going with a different company. That's exactly what I'm doing. Fuck Wix. Fuck them in the ass with a big rubber dick. I hope it gets broken off and they get beaten with the rest of it. White guy anger. Tell us how you really feel. No. <laughs> the 7-Eleven trip was even funnier today. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to just make a story first, but I'm going to save my story afterwards. Go ahead. So we walk into 7-Eleven <laughs> to get our drinks and snacks. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. And <laughs> it's 6.30. Okay, R roughly 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. This Today you're talking? Today, yeah, today. Today, yeah, today, 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 today we have right. a monster Now, drink. oh no. I understand that people try to steal drinks from the fridge. Yeah, yeah. Especially energy drinks, whatever. Fine. It's 6.30 in the evening, Eastern Standard. And the fucking freezer door <laughs> for where the energy drinks Got a fucking is padlock. locked. Has a padlock on with it. With a big fucking yellow trim master padlock. Yes. Yeah. Okay? Now, yep. Yep. normally, normally, when you go to buy an energy drink, yeah. normally it's unlocked. At night, in the wee hours, when there's nobody around, yeah. and it's easier to steal shit, then they'll lock it with the thing. Mobile on Garrison Avenue does it. Yeah. Well, mobile also has... What's up, Jeremy? For those oh. two doors that the energy drinks are in, when you open the doors, a little alarm thing goes off. So, the guys, uh... so the guys know that you're taking something from a door of stuff that the stuff that the energy but wait, but wait, 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 it gets better. Uh -oh. Continue, my friend. So now, not only is this fucking thing locked, <laughs> but you have to get one of the fucking retards <laughs> from behind the fucking counter. I mean, they're actually cool people. They're all nice. But still. Both of them are kind of cute, too. So but I look cute. at it this way, all right? So. They get in the butt. They have to now come and unlock it. Yeah. Or go through the freezer door. Mm -hmm. Work their way around the freezer to go to the door where you are yeah. Yeah. to pull your drink. <laughs> <laughs> pull your drink. They have to legitimately what? go and they'll be like, all right, which one did you want? Okay, I'll be back in like 10 minutes. And they go in the freezer minutes. door, Legitly. walk down the fucking aisle, pull your drink. And, like, and then they come out and they're like, oh, is this the one you wanted? If I turn around and tell you I want a specific color can, a specific color flavor, by a specific color brand, right? and then you come out and go, oh, is this the one you wanted? Yeah. You're getting stabbed in the neck. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> now, it comes out to be, well, you're walking around the store, you're looking for other snacks or whatever, yeah. and there's an entire display <laughs> of energy drinks monster. out in the yep. open. Of monster. Yep. Okay? 15 different flavors in a stack in the middle of the fucking store. 
that you could just take. That right you could just the... randomly walk over and be like, okay, I'm taking one of these, one of these, drop three of them down my pants, you know, two in my pockets, and walk the fuck out. But yet, you have the fucking audacity to sit there and say, I'm going to lock one fucking freezer door with all the cold ones in it. Like, mind-boggling bullshit when you sit there and say, I'm trying to protect the energy drinks from getting stolen, but yet you have a stack 12 fucking high in the middle of the fucking store. But it wait, doesn't have a but, seat belt. But wait a minute. Our other 7-Eleven, the one that we usually go to at nighttime, mm -hmm. has the ice cream case locked up. Has a lock across the ice cream case for all the ice cream that's in it. However, six feet away, they have one of those refrigerators on the floor where you could just open that fucker up and take ice cream right out of it. So why are the ones on the wall locked up and the ones in the case open? Makes absolutely no fucking goddamn sense. Why? Like, like, I, I really, like, I'm sitting there and I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Fucking why? That you leave all of them fucking wide open like that. Makes no absolute the stuff, fucking sense. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Pain Train Pipe Bomb, where basically we find madness in articles and in real life. And trust me, we've seen some shit that basically you'll sit there and be like, why? By the or, way, we or, have or a... What? I have a really good friend in the chat room right now. Um, I.O. Austin is one of the heads of the group from uh, this World Wild Adults Gone Wild group, which What's has 33,000 viewers. Is uh, it uh, Adults Gone Wild? We sit there and go, ah! And uh, <laughs> yeah, like, I, this is the first time he's watching. What's up, bro? How you doing, man? I, I, I've been trying to get him to watch the show because he told me, first, he's going to make me an admin. Which At least like I, I kind of, I, I kind of am, am great with that, but when you have to deal with thirty three thousand people, that you know you're kind of sitting there and you're like, all right, enough is enough. You have to turn notifications hey, off. Hey, how was that? I gotta tell you, it's like drinking hot chocolate. Can oh, I smell it, is, it is very tasty. Can I smell it? Because you know how I feel about the smell Ooh, of energy drink. It is. Yes. It, it, it is, actually smell. It smells hell like it's yeah. Wrong. Yes. It, it Yo, that just very smells good. really good. It smells um, like a Tootsie Roll. Oh, yes. This was, yes. believe it or not, the reason why we had to deal with the Nimrod. Yeah, we found that shit. For he them found opening it. the fucking case again. Because it is Swiss Chocolate D. Java D. Monster. D. Hey, you might be right. He, Actually, today... D. Hey said Ricky doesn't need a monster. He is one. Yeah, exactly. You might be right on that. Actually, guys, this is my first time actually Dang. trying out the Game Fuel. Thank you, sir. The Game Fuel. And... This blue one is amazing. I was looking at the green one, it's good. but apparently, you know, um, it's real good. It's basically soda. It's not even energy drink. It's fucking soda, actually. Yeah, really. I am the only one that does not indulge in the energy drink fad of the rest well, of the group. Well, it, it's not only the fact that... She's the now, only estrogen in the room, that's why. ...that we, we shoot this two-hour show, okay? That's first off. Second off, after it's done and this entire room is empty, you like, the green screens are down... All the lighting gets taken down watch and everything else. I have tonight now not one show to process, but two. Yes. So I will be here diligently with hopefully the extremely large 24-ounce cup of 7-Eleven coffee. Uh, I can't wait for coffee later. Um, and working on two shows. One is this one that, we, that we're doing now. But I also produce a show called... Um, 161st Street Murderer's Row podcast, which is a baseball podcast, and I got nominated to be a producer on that, so the fucking work is just gonna, it's piling up. Oof. And then, this weekend, we have another system that we're bringing in to expand out what we have, so that'll be even more fucking research and work to do. Yeah. Nick is in the room. What up, Nick? Uh, one... A positive note, okay? Um, this will be up on the screen in a little while. I'm Ayo? not going to... Ayo, yo, it's really good. I've, I've tasted it for the first time today. It's amazing. But you know which one is not good? The cherry one. The cherry, the cherry one. one is not good. Okay, Me? I never tried to try one. I don't one. know. Again, I don't, to, I don't really like trying. these things, but... Um, Ricky made me try the the blue raspberry one that he's drinking tonight. It's fucking and amazing. And it's actually... It tastes like a blue Jolly Rancher. Yeah. It's kind of like a blue hey, raspberry bro, you're, Jolly you're, Rancher. You're, you're, you're the ones in the but the red one, it's kind of ick. 
Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to... I... Oh, Jesus Christ. Where'd it go? Uh, oh, it's because I didn't set it up yet. All right. Wait, Here, but I did get a yummy there. thing in 7-Eleven while we were there. I'll oh, the yes. Okay, so... You know, every year Lay's, chi Lay's Chips comes Come out with yeah. like three or four new flavors that you have to try and then they vote on a new one. That's this shit's so, amazing, man. Um, I right, got so the lime and sea salt. Lime, Lay's this shit is a, chips. Yo, get this shit right Holy here, man. Crap, this shit's amazing. They're outrageous. Because we tried, wait, what's the other one? Was it the I was going to get the green, the beer and cheese. We and tried the beer and cheese the other night. It's not as good. But this lime and sea salt one is right now my vote because... So Nicholas is on his way to the gym. I was there and, three days in a row, man. And here's the crazy thing, is that he watches the show while, the gym? while working out. Because he told me the last time that we, we, we spoke that he was like, yo, I'm listening to you guys in the gym right now and the gym is fucking empty. Yep. Empty. Wow. So... Like he he's he's die hard when it comes to that. Jen, yo, I'm telling you, these chips, I I, I second guessed it at first, but they, they're really good. All right, so <laughs> last week, and I'm just gonna sit here and shove them. In and the face. week before, we announced that we had a limited that? edition shirt. Okay, like... that this shirt will only be available till the oh, end man, of April. <laughs> Sorry. And let me tell you, mm. I woke up yesterday and today. With about 15 to 20 emails from the company. Yep. Okay. Now, the limited Super edition excited. shirt, okay, is the Paint Trade Pipe Bomb Established 2017 t shirt. This thing is selling like fucking hotcakes. No joke. And our second favorite shirt on the entire page just so happens to be. The Mad, the Hatter? Mad Hatter t-shirt. That does the next one we're going to get. And I will do some personal shout-outs to Chris Ripka, who legitimately, after our show was over last Thursday, went and purchased not one, not two, but three shirts from the website. To wear. On his show. On his show. Okay? Holy shit. So right off the bat, like, that is a fucking poke that, like, you, you just really, really get yes. the pins and needles. You get all those goosebumps and that's shit. Fucking you're like, that's fucking amazing. That's fucking crazy. But Chris Ripka bought uh, our mutual friend Randy. Ra purchased I'm Randy Lyons, a.k.a. Night. Anthony Bullock. Okay. He bought some shirts, uh, too, man. Yo. The website is paintrainpipebomb.threadless.com. Uh... If you purchase more than $45, you will get free shipping, as well as your first visit to the website. They are selling the shirts from $12 to $16. So jump on there and fucking check it out. Get um, it! All of the artwork on here is fucking all legitimately done. By A him. lot of it's hand-drawn. By him. And legitimately... He did it. This is all Perfection. Him. I am a fucking... Perfectionist. They come in all different styles. There's hoodies, t-shirts, long sleeves. Thongs. Uh, we even have uh, backpacks, string bags, pasties. Um, There's stickers. You can get stickers. I mean, you can use the stickers as pasties. Panties? But the actual Pain Train established 2017 design finishes April 30th. Once April 30th comes and goes, that's it. It's gone. Yep. History. And that's so, why my ass got my my ass wait, my um, shit's coming this Saturday. Nick asked, "What's the biggest size on the shirts?" Uh, depending on the cut of the shirts, they what go size up, you wear, Nick? To no, me asking. Five X. They go yes, yeah, certain yeah, ones, like five X. Nick's, certain cuts go up to yeah, four Nick, or five. Some of them go up to a five X. It depends on which which shirt you're buying, what style of shirt. So you just gotta scroll through them and see which ones go up high. But they Nick, are. What size uh, are you? But they these these shirts are phenomenal. Well, I need to know what size um, he is. The company does. Does he ask does, you what size you are? Shut up, the man thing. The the company does actually contact you and let you know when everything is going through. Okay, that's the biggest bonus. They do contact you and yes, they're like, they all right, absolutely. Okay, we're we're putting your. Sh it's like the Domino's app, the tracker. Mm -hmm. Like we like we we ordered Domino's last night and I put on the Rock amp for for the Domino's. That's what I used to. <laughs> so, 
Threadless is like that as well. They uh, give you yeah. updates on when you're getting your stuff. My shit is coming it's this like Saturday. You, it's like when you use a tracking number. Yeah. He's a 4X. He said he's but, a 4X, but he prefer a 5X. So. But, they, that, but again, I'm the same way. I, I gotta tell you, I'm only a 1X. Sometimes, like, I'm only like a 1X. That's it. All I gotta say is, is that. Harassment. Why are you trying well, to brag? Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even come back with that one. He's like, bitch. bitch. I can't Woo. even. I can't even come he's back with that one. Rex, he's like, so am I, but I like a five, and you're like, I'm just a one X, a one X. But I will say, everybody, Ew, like, go fuck yourself. That's fucked up, man. That's fucked up, man. Shut the fuck up. Listen, we we've we've put out three stores. Damn. We put out three stores, and this hurt my feelings. Uh, we have the Red Bubble one. We have the Spreadshirt <laughs> one and the Threadless one. But I got to tell you, out of all of it, I think the Threadless one may be the one we stay with. Even though Redbubble, you actually can get a Pain Trade Pipe Bomb greeting card, <laughs> which I find kind of weird. I think but, I just inhaled it. Yeah, a, a, exactly. Like, How can we have a, a greeting card? But like, hello, motherfuckers. How you doing? I'm Pain oh, Trade Pipe and, Bomb. And, and, there was a <laughs> Carol did actually say that everybody loves the, the I t-shirt. love my Anagav t-shirt. Yeah, yeah, everybody likes that. That one is available on Spreadshirt. Um, it has not been added to this. There need to be some minor tweaks. Gotcha. You know, the beard needs to be longer for those fucking hairy bush people. You know, the bushwhackers. <laughs> um, the seven, 1970s, uh, the 1970s version of, of, yes. of vagina. But uh. That I can actually, I actually can pull up the. Uh, I don't need yeah. to cough on your head. I think I inhaled a potato chip. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Fuck that shit. He farted on you. Cough on him. I fought. I didn't fart he on didn't him. He didn't fart on me. Not today. Not, today. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> I know, right? Not yet. Shit. We still got a while to go yet. I know, right? I am, I am a little bubbly. Young. I'm not gonna no. lie. Well, then you know what. Politely excuse your, <coughs> excuse yourself. Turn your ass out. Stick your ass in that um, direction. I got up last week and took a shit in the middle of the show. Yes. 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 No fucking shit. That was hardcore. And, that was and hardcore. And to top man. it all off, I was talking to everybody <laughs> from the bathroom <laughs> and was, was still getting picked yep. up on mic. He was yeah. yelling out yeah. his responses he, from the yes. bathroom. In our last 15 minutes of the show, in case you didn't see it. And we're sitting here talking, and he's just answering us from the bathroom. <laughs> and and just for those who don't know, um, the uh, it didn't fucking come up again. Do I have to keep doing this shit all the time again? I don't know, but I really think <clears throat> I'm dying. It is warm in here. No, I inhaled a potato chip. Well, I was yelling at freaking Karasu. So, this is the other <laughs> website, <laughs> which is, uh... <laughs> Jerk. This, ha this has our full line right Demon. now. Jerk. Um, this is shop.spreadshirt.com. And, uh, for those who want to know what the Anagav shirt is, uh... There it is. This is our custom bearded clam shirt. Uh, and Anagav is actually vagina, vagina backwards. spelled backwards. Because uh, um, for those of you who weren't with us at that time, we I found backwards. a song where the woman sings about loving her vagina. And it kind of fit into the group and people laughed about it for a couple of weeks. And then we decided that we needed a shirt to go along with it because it went along with the bit. So that's how this shirt came to be. But uh, <laughs> it was very popular for a while. <clears throat> yes, yes Harlem Heat, Heat is actually going into the WWE Hall of Fame. Oh, that's, 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 that's fucking amazing. They're, they're excellent tag team. But uh, yeah, so uh, one time, if you guys are interested in, in hooking up with some of the other designs until we get threadless. I want to update the Sensei Haisha t-shirt. Hooked up. That uh, we do have them on the <laughs> Spreadshirt website. And speaking of iron, that's what I their, their quality is just as good. That's just what iron right here. Uh, they move a little bit faster on delivery because it. they want people to have their merch. I moved it. Where is it? All the way over there. Jim, get the iron. Where is no, it? No, get it the fucking iron. <clears throat> nah, we don't need the iron. <clears throat> we need the iron. <clears throat> so, but this <clears throat> also has our uh, sister show, Arch Rivals Football. There's a yes. shirt on there that will be transferring over. But Jen just placed an order, by the way. Yes. She says, uh, I'm back, placed in order, I'm set. That ah, means I'm going to have to check awesome. my email, Jen. Yay! 
Yay. Gonna have to check my email. By the way, the other problem. Wait a bye. There is uh, one little oh. issue I do have with Threadless. Oh. Okay? Now, if I miraculously wanted to stalk people, <laughs> okay, maybe on the orders that are maybe placed. Maybe we shouldn't reveal this information. It gives some addresses. Uh, so I may have to send thank you cards <clears throat> to people. Pink, 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 we pop, could you. order those thank you cards, those greeting cards, <laughs> or we can just have them sent to those people who no, place the Jen, order. No, Jen, we're transferring everything over the Threadless. It's just that That'd Spreadshirt funny, has all of our full catalog. And you see our picture yes. like this, almost like I this mean, in the when picture. We, when we first started, that <laughs> was the like... website that we were using. So all our <laughs> stuff <laughs> is still there. It's It's still there. But um, I like the, we like I, the layout. I, I, I love the layout better, better of Threadless. Uh, and and it seems to have a little are, more of a selection of items. They are a lot so. better with a lot of things. I actually so. want to see the quality of the of the Threadless shirts. That's why I'm like I'm waiting for Saturday for the shirt to come in. I, we I will see the actually, of the you know what? We will actually do a live video. You let me know when you're available. I'll have yeah. the system hooked up. Yeah. And be like, all right, we're gonna do a live unveiling video on the channel. So everybody can see. I'm gonna show my titties. Please don't. <laughs> You're not talking about your titties. Yes, Jen. I do already know where you live. You don't have, have to be concerned about me stalking you. Nice. Yeah. I've only known the girl about fucking thirty years. So <laughs> like fucking. Just about thirty years. Well. <laughs> All right. Let's get some articles, articles now, man. Let's get it some may be articles. a little scary that I can fucking just said that out loud that I've known Jen that long, but whatever. let's get some articles, bro. All right. Let's... Are we talking about this picture first? You want yes. To... Yes. All right. Okay, so you know when you find um, random items like, okay, so like that Wish website where everything is like $2. I love that website. Okay, so there's another website called AliExpress, A-L-I-E-X-P-R-E-S-S, -E -S, mm -hmm. and it's very similar to Wish where things are only like, you know, very inexpensive, a dollar, two dollars, three dollars. There's another one called Joom also. So I found, so I have the app for AliExpress because I order a lot of my cake supplies through there because they're very, very cheap. Nice, okay. So... Of, on my screen comes this picture. <clears throat> it came on your screen? I believe, if I remember correct, oh, it's only two seventy-five, dollars And what they are is um, a shaving stencil for women who want to shave their bush into shapes. <laughs> so, basically, you take the shape... And the little white thing that's next to it that looks like a teardrop is actually the handle. Wait, no, wait. It's a handle. And it snaps into the shape, and they send you a razor to go along with it. And you hold it against your area and shave around the shape. So they have a choice of three if you want a landing strip or a heart. Or I think the other one looks like a teardrop, if I'm not mistaken. But you can have perfectly shaven girl parts for two seventy five. I thought it was quite a deal, if you ask me. So would you get it? Um. Um. Maybe. <laughs> Although I am skilled in that area for, by for myself. Those, without for those days. that don't get to see what's going on on the radio, I am fucking shaking my head no. <laughs> Me and him are both picking our heads. That's why I, I'm like... I'm there like, is no fucking rhyme or reason that a person should really do this. Listen to me. A, nobody in public is going to fucking see it. Okay? So you're just basically going to try to impress your significant other... Your fuck buddy. Wait a minute. Your friends with friend, friends with benefits guy. So if I had right? come here on Valentine's Day, after we had gone out to dinner, and I had that heart shaved into my cooch, you wouldn't have been impressed. I, I really don't think so. <laughs> if I'm you going, mean, do you know how long if that I'm takes? going down <laughs> to the fucking vaginal area, you know, the fucking happy hellhole. Deep sea right? diving. I'm not paying attention to what fucking design you decided to custom trim your bush unless to you look like. To, unless I'm you sorry, you I'm not be, paying attention you, to that. But you wouldn't be surprised at all? No! Because I think... I am not concentrating, oh, well, what design does her fucking pussy hair shave in tonight? <laughs> no, I'm not worried about that. 
I'm worried about foreplay. I'm worried about double clicking the mouse. <laughs> Carol's stupid. Using the fucking dipstick. I, I, I'm good. I'm concentrating on that. I could give two shits. What the fuck Carol, shit you I used it to in. do the arrow without one of those stupid things. I used to love it. I used to thought it was. I used to think it was awesome. But this, I just thought for like three bucks. I'm like, shit. This is great. Like it's a whole like professionally little done, you know, happy little area for whoever. I, I really just don't find this as a fucking. I don't I mean, know. Like, I just don't. Like, for like, some, like, I just like don't really figure that shit out. <laughs> Our next picture. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now. This is my favorite one of the week. I'm sorry. I, like I saw this, too. and the first thing I, I like said to him too. was, "Can we put this on screen?" Because now this is one of those. You situations. gotta slide it down a little bit because it cuts off the top writing. No, no, he got it. Oh, well, oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Oh my God, I can't believe we found this shit in his room. Um, what are we gonna do? Now, well, one thing is for sure, I don't think we can spank him. First off, if this kid watched the movie Dodgeball, <laughs> all right, Hasselhoff. he may have thought that may have, may be like a great idea to wear as like a Halloween costume or something. However, if he if he learned early from watching some bad moving. porn, I'm sorry, it's okay. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I mean, honestly, let, let's be honest. If, if he if he gets spanked by his father, be like, yes, daddy, like I have another. No, no, Jen. It's Ali A L I E X P R E S S. Ali Express. Enzo. Enzo. Now, I mean, I like you... I can send. Ayo, I, I will listen send to me. It to I can you. send this to you because I sent it to Ricky. I will send it to you. Um. <laughs> But I'm, as soon I'm, I'm as sorry. I saw it, that's all I could do was laugh. And he I was like, like a... I need to put, we need to show this. He looks like the gimp from Pulp Fiction. But do you really care to notice, though, that in the background, they put a watermark that says click hate. Yes. Above the mom's head, which kind of makes it even more funnier. I mean, I'm on so many of those, like, <laughs> meme things for Facebook, you know, with, like, the crazy memes, memes you hate, memes like, yes. you know, whatever it is. So, like, when these things come up, all you could do is laugh because they're yeah. freaking funny as hell. I mean, I, we could I, have a legitimate show. Like, we were talking about this before we started, you know, taping tonight. But we could have a whole show of just these things that I find all day long. Like that other one I showed you. I think I'm going to send it to him anyway. All right. Now, Got you. this is probably going to be one of our bigger topics. <clears throat> we have 12 people <clears throat> watching. Yeah, we, Get it we, up to we, 20 because we I want... Way. You have 15 earlier. I, I want... I, I actually will tell you that this particular thing... Now, this video cannot play because some douchebag decides that fucking... We're not allowed to play YouTube videos. All right? Because uh, it fucking somehow got copyright hit. I don't know why. Um, it was stupid. But this is a very controversial topic. Now... A lot of people know that YouTubing or YouTube creators, okay, if they get a particular, a particular topic that they are real on, okay, they will gain thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of subscribers to fucking, you know, become extremely popular. Mm -hmm. For example... Kid behind a camera with fucking angry grandpa. Right. Yeah. He's got about 3 million fucking subscribers. Now, the show, since he died, has gone a little downhole, downhill within the year. All right. But this one here, as Red just jumped in the room. What's up, Red? And my Red? cousin Charlie's in the room. What's, what's up, Charlie? Red? Charlie, what's up? I know I haven't talked to you in a while. Uh, I'm not ignoring you, so. Yes, he is. Um, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So, this particular topic... Uh, is about a very popular YouTuber who got her claim to fame from doing the whole the vegan thing. Yes. Okay? Pussies. She gained a ton of subscribers. Okay? The girl's 28 fucking years old. Her name is Giovanna Mendoza Ires. 
or Ravonna, okay? Now, her claim to fame was the whole being vegan. Being now... Vegan. People, a lot of... She advised a lot of people on the proper vegan diet. That was why people started to follow her. Okay? But now, because her health issues get in the way... For example, she couldn't get the rag. For, guy, for, for people that don't know what getting the rag is... Her period, End of a sentence. her monthly visit, Aunt Flo came to town, etc. Okay? River runs red. For a while, she couldn't have this happen. So out of curiosity, she goes and says, well, you know, I'm, I, I feel like I'm pretty healthy. I'm just not fucking getting the rig. Like, what the hell is the problem? And the doctors were like, well, you're not, you don't have like the proper diet. So you have to make changes. You have to get more vitamins in you and other minerals or whatever. Vitamins in her, huh? And Vitamin D! It got better for a little while. But then it reverted it's itself back to the way it was when she wasn't getting anything. So pretty much the doctors then said, well, you need these certain items. For example, eggs and fish in your diet in order to fucking bring your body that regularity thing, okay? The world jumped on this bitch because she's proclaiming herself as vegan. vegan, and now because her diet is so fucked up, she had to change it, and they're all jumping on her well, for it. Well, what happened was is that, I mean, I read the whole thing, she, there was another YouTuber that was out doing a video in a restaurant and in the background, she was sitting there and she was eating fish in a restaurant. Mm. So basically it was like she got caught eating this fish when she wasn't supposed to be. Now, if you're a vegan and if you don't know, I mean, everybody pretty much knows what a vegan is, yeah. but if you don't know what exactly their diet entails, vegans eat nothing that has had a face. Um, no animal products, no anything that has come from an animal of any kind, no eggs, no dairy, no meat, no, no honey. I mean, no no honey, honey because no from honey. the bees. I mean, nothing. They're very, very strict with their diet. So she was in a restaurant and she got caught eating a piece of fish and then had to make a video to explain herself because she got caught eating this fish. So what happened was she went to a doctor. They had given her all of this um, information. She's probably lacking something very, very bad in her diet or very good from her diet or however you want to view it. Vitamin D. And he told her that she has to start eating fish and eggs, which is what she's been doing to supplement for what she's missing. But basically, she got caught doing it. So people feel like they've been following her um, religiously and that she kind of deceived them because she's been eating other things other than her vegan diet. Right. Now, she said in the bottom of the article that once her body regulated itself again, she'd like to go back to being strictly vegan. I wouldn't do it. That's if her body is able to do that. Exactly. You know, I mean, she wants to live a vegan lifestyle. She's not eating the fish and the eggs because she feels, you know, because she feels like it. It was under a doctor's advisement. So, um, but anyway, this, this whole rage from people is coming because they feel like she deceived them, you know, eating these other things, saying that she could, um, you know, live off of it when she's not able to. My problem is, is this. I'll do this article next. Um, that it's a little touchy. I, I, I have to tell you that read it. this th this particular situation, okay? Because now, yes, maybe, just maybe, she just should have come out and said something and be like, in the vlog no. or whatever she does, be like, okay, so I've come to a point in my fucking life where... As great as the fucking vegan diet is, I have to make some changes in order to have a healthier life. Right. And like, in all fairness, there is not a diet that's out there that works for everyone. We were, just, we were talking about this earlier. The keto diet. You know, like, everybody is on this keto fad that's no sugar, no carbs. 
that doesn't work for everybody. If you're actually, now yeah. diabetics have to watch their sugar intake, but keto is not good for diabetics. No, it's not. Exactly, it's not. Um, it's not. You know, I mean, you you follow a fad with, with everything. Like, everything mm -hmm. becomes a big thing. Like, do you remember the Atkins diet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We okay. talked about that. Yeah. So, Atkins... Your, ex, not was, your called, ex was doing that. It's yeah. not called Atkins anymore. It's something It's something Keto. entirely different. But when everybody was doing it, everybody was doing it. It was like the People biggest... People was actually dying from that. Rage. Yeah. Well, because all you're eating is yeah. fat yeah. upon fat upon fat. Yeah. It doesn't work that way. You know, I mean... Every diet works differently with different people. Your body responds differently to everything. So, you know, sometimes you just can't ride the fad train. No. You have to do what's best for you. Me, I love, me, I just eat whatever I can. But, but to me, though, like, I'm sitting there and I'm like, you know, not for nothing. If you have to change your fucking diet, okay? Everybody does at some point. Regardless. Mm -hmm. um, That's it. What, what, why are we playing that one? Uh, that one we may side. we may get hit on that. I might I might not want to touch that. What? Oh yeah, that one. That that one I might I might get a little hit on it. Okay. But, so you know what? I'll um. We, did, we have plenty we'll of. Figure, we'll figure. We have plenty out. of stuff to do. You know what? Yeah, you know what? I think one, we could do the back to back you know sneaker Arnold. I'm, I'm gonna read. Articles. I'm gonna read this one. Uh. Ooh. Oh yeah. I'm yeah, gonna do that. I'm read that one. Um. But all in all, though, don't jump on somebody all all of a sudden. Because a, a, a time in your life has to change. Yeah, at, like, every, at every point in time, somebody's got to change something. Okay? And in this case... Exactly. Your diet. Your and diet. there are people that are saying it in the chat that, like, for example, Atkins was a, a fucking high-protein, low-carb right. diet. That wasn't healthy for people. No, it was really bad. Okay? It was really Some bad. People, I mean, don't get me wrong. People follow that. Like I said, it's it's... Some things work for a while... And you lose a tremendous amount of weight very, very quickly. Mm -hmm. But then you start reintroducing stuff back into your diet because you can't maintain that lifestyle for your whole life. You and, just can't. And honestly, sometimes you do need carbs, too. You know, you do need that. You do need that. You know, in a, especially if you're working out, you, you need that to burn off and stuff like that. You know, you burn it up. But if you have no carbs, you're... <laughs> the, the only thing I got to say is, is this, okay? Yes, she's a famous person... Technically. Leave her alone. Fuck it. Leave her the fuck alone. Leave her alone. Don't jump on her for the fact being because this was a belief of hers for the longest fucking time that now it has to be fucking criticized because it has to be changed. I wouldn't criticize her. Like I mean I mean let's be real, I wouldn't criticize her, but let's get to the next article. I don't wanna um stay too much on this one. Um, I, I really just think, though, that, that it has to be brought out, though, because... I know, I know that. I know. One of the points of our show is to fucking harp on these assholes who fucking Yo, criticize stupid. other people. A.O.'s fucking stupid. <laughs> he said, I'm on a seaweed diet. I see weed and I smoke it. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's, your, uh, here's your, your eerie article. Well, all right. Man has inside of his ears taken out a new body modification Sucka. trend. Yo, this shit is crazy, man. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. The procedure is called conch removal. Body modification isn't exactly a new phenomenon. A phenomenon. We saw this guy last year who started identify identifying as a transhumanist with more than 100 modifications, including silicone horns. But recently, a man went, went the extra mile when he traveled all the way from Australia to the Calm Body Modification Studio in Stockholm. Purely to get the inside of his ears cut out. Yep, you read that right. By the way, Ao, uh, we we curse on this show. You are allowed to curse in the chat. Yeah, man. Because okay. fuck I, that I shit. Just, we 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 do not hold back on this show. We fucking curse. Just let you know that. Fuck that shit. Okay. Yeah. According to the studios, Facebook and Instagram, the the procedure is called a conch removal, and involves taking out the concha, the middle bit. Of the outer ear, it's also known as the auric auricule or the pina. Chai Mybert, who owns the studio, wrote on social media, "Fresh hashtag conch removal on at on at uh, wow on at Charles V Bentley, who traveled around the world from Australia to have this procedure performed by me at 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 calm body modification." Truly humble. Now, I don't really want to go too more into this, but if you guys look at the screen right now, 
the gentleman basically has absolutely, I mean, listen, look, I understand like, you know, like years ago, like the, the, the tribes, the different tribes have like the long earlobes, but that right there is just fucking disgusting. Like what would drive a person to actually like, cut, like, like literally cut their ear out? Like, what are you getting out of that? Dude, like it's, it's just, it's disgusting. The whole, there's a reason why certain things of the body is not supposed to be messed with. Like for instance, okay, when your appendix ruptures, stuff like that, it take it out. No one actually knew what the appendix basically was used for, but come to find out, it's good for, it's for, it's for the, you know, if you have good bacteria in your body, it's for that, it stores that. But this right here, like, what are you getting out of there, bro? Like, what are you trying to prove? It's disgusting. Like, Listen, if you really wanted a fucking hole in your ear, this is what you do. Shoot yourself. Right? Instead of going and getting your fucking surgically done, just come over. We have big railroad spikes sitting in the garage. Hmm. I could drive a railroad spike through your fucking ear. You could pay me 50 bucks, okay? Or we have plenty of really good hole punchers that people use to fucking make fucking holes in their paper for their binders and shit. Hmm. Fuck that. Come over. I'll punch a fucking hole in your ear. 50 bucks. Why are you going to travel across the fucking water to fucking go to some surgeon to have fucking half your ear taken out? It's disgusting, man. But like, you see, the problem is here, there are so many regulations about what doctors will do and what doctors won't do. And when you go overseas and go to different countries, they don't give a shit. You give them their money, and they'll do whatever the fuck you want. And that's why you see so many people who have botched plastic surgeries. Yeah, go, exactly. Oh, I went to, you know, China mm -hmm. and had them take out a part, you know, like a, <laughs> a seven of my ribs. Or I went to freaking, you know China. what I'm saying? No, it's the China. Shoot. I don't know. I'm laughing. But, China. But you know, like they people go to different places because all they have to do is throw down a little bit of money, and they'll do it for half of what they would do it for here. Absolutely, yeah, it's true. That is true. That is true. But like, that's disgusting right there. Like, I mean, come on, that's just like that's too much. Why? Yeah, exactly. I mean, the thing with the horns was even was even crazier. But oh. that right there is just like over the limit. That's just like over the over the, you know. Listen, there are a lot of body mods that I find gross. Oh hell yeah. You know, like all those people that are becoming like human lizards mm -hmm. that have like those things under their skin. Yeah, that yeah. shit right like, there is crazy. I, don't, I I can't. I can't. I don't know. It, 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 some of these things that the people it's fucking do much. these days just fucking. It's just like too much. what? What do you really fucking gain out of that? Exactly. What do you get out of that? What do you get? Fucking better uh, directional wind when you know, like aerodynamics or some shit. Because it blows right through the holes in your ears. You're not going to get blown down the block at 40 mile an hour winds and shit like that. Yeah, that, that, bro, that's just like, like I said, you know, it looks disgusting. Like, you know, see, I mean, like, what, what can you get out of that? Like, what can you, like, for real? That's like basically like putting like another, like two, uh, two more holes in my fucking nose. Better breathing. What the fuck? Like, for real. So I think we're going to go with this article right here. Oh, good night, Sharon. Sharon. Because there was a whole bunch of no, fucking. That's, that's one of my friends. She um, well, you gotta uh, Sharon, honey, you gotta listen to the topics that we do because they're different, different topics are basically all random, all random, exactly. The, the, so. These these go off the fucking chain, but yes, this particular one, because we have a lover of chicken nuggets. She's the estrogen in, in the room, by the way. But again, right. I like chicken nuggets. I love chicken nuggets too. Mm -hmm. Not gonna lie, I love mm -hmm. chicken nuggets but as well. But there is a bizarre study. That claims eating too many chicken nuggets can turn you gay. <laughs> really? Eating too many chicken nuggets can turn you into a flaming homo. I don't think so. I really, really don't think you know, so. I mean, in all fairness, I've probably consumed uh, over the course of my life probably damn near a million chicken nuggets. So, so you mean to tell and me, I wait, wait. still very much like men. So, no. I don't think that this worked for me. Like, no, they no, didn't, no, no, they no, didn't no, study no, me no, that no, well. No, 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 honey. No, no, honey. I don't think it affects women. I mean, oh, I mean no. of course you know. This, no, this applies to people. There's a whole article attached to it that I read. And it said that people who... Um, Somebody pick up the article for me. And I'll, I'll, I'll just up. leave it on the screen here. I'll pull it up. Why is that guy doing that space? I don't know. But... <laughs> 
That looks good. It also looks like the guy is getting a thumb up the ass. For real, he's like, a fucking bite of cake. Because I'll read it. it I was, can definitely tell that's a stupid really face. It's really along the lines of <laughs> that. <laughs> that's a stupid what face. The <laughs> I, I I don't know. I have 42 years. Well, almost For, wait, 42 years. Wait, 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 wait. First of all, of eating chicken look where the article's nuggets. coming from. Pink news. Pink news! But from the UK on top of it. The UK? No, not, not the you gay. Well, in this case, okay. maybe. Yeah, exactly. It says, it says a, a self-published study claims that eating too many fatty foods can cause homosexuality or make you transgender. Author Rita, Rita something, who says she has a degree in clinical psychology, sent a 56-page document <laughs> after self-publishing it as an ebook. In the document, which she has also put up for free on her website, attempts to link homosexuality to an unhealthy diet. It claims that homosexualities, uh, homosexuals, large amounts of high glycemic index foods of fat or eating an imbalanced diet leading towards carbs causes okay. you to be gay. I know she's. Some I know what she means. Some studies show an increased okay. rate of obesity among. Among homosexuals, gay, lesbian, and bisexual women reported a higher odd, a higher odds of sugar sweetened beverage consumption that straight than straight women, straight men and women. I can't read today. Okay, okay, you know what? You know what? Um, yeah, it's wait. all basically saying that um, they notice that there's a connection between people who are homosexual and people who eat high amounts of saturated fat and carbs and the whole big thing. Okay, okay, here's the thing. Okay, I kind of understand Not what you're trying to say. Not meaning that it turns no, 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 that no, no, way. No, 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 no. Okay, listen, listen, listen. I, I already understand what you're saying. Basically, it's, it's like this. It's saying that certain type of foods basically have high amounts of estrogen. That's what you're trying to say. You know what I'm saying? And certain things... No, 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 yeah, yeah no, they no, yeah. Do not have high amounts of estrogen. No, 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 yes, yeah, some foods, That's yeah. That's crap. No, 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 some foods, yes. That's crap. Because listen, like estrogen certain estrogen does not come in food. No, no, this uh, testosterone does too. Like for instance, like cabbage, spinach have high amounts of testosterone. Le you know, testosterone levels, which is which is true. No, but no, no, no. Honestly, no. I've there is. I have never heard of that before in my entire yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. Like it's raise the testosterone level. <laughs> to raise the testosterone. But level. it doesn't have testosterone in it. Anyway, like I was trying to say, it raises testosterone level. But I guess I guess it's trying to say foods like that. Raises the estrogen level. I'm talking about you know obesity stuff like that, which basically I guess um, us men having man boobs and stuff like that. But I don't give a shit. <laughs> D Hay says thumb up the ass is okay if it's doctor approved. And that goes okay. along with that picture of the guy getting the get, eat the cake. It looks like he's but, getting a thumb up his ass. But honestly, he's not getting a doctor approved. He's getting a thumb up his ass, and he's having something pink also. So uh, there get, was I mean, also a comment on there. No wonder the hamburger was stuck to hamburgers. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know, like, I've been eating chicken nuggets for 41 plus fucking years. Who doesn't years, eat chicken nuggets? Exactly. And I have not one gay tenders. tendency, nor do I feel like I need to fucking bend over, spread open my ass cheeks, and have a fucking balloon knot tickled by somebody else's dick. So... I don't understand where people can come up with this fucking shit. I don't see you as being a catcher anyway. Yeah, exactly. Even if you were, I don't see you as being a recipient. But I do not have can any gay sexual wait, 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 wait. Can you imagine him with some nuggets. tight pants? Fucking, can you imagine him being gay? <laughs> yo, he'd be like, yo, I, I can't see that. I can't see that. Rick actually just turned around like, he's like, you know, Melissa. Yo, that no, means our whole I would never come over here. A lie. Like I'm a cover for you. Yo, I would never come over here. If you tell me in five years I that, I, that you here. have been living an undercover life, yo, and you're leaving me for a boy, man, you're gonna get a beaten. Yo, <laughs> yo, I'd never come over here again for a kid. I'd be like, you want to come over? Nah, I'm good. Jim, you come with me. <laughs> oh yeah, he's coming with you, all right. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Hey! Yeah, well, <laughs> shit happens. I can't imagine Rick, Rick. I can't imagine him be gay, man. I, I can't do that. Like, it, it wouldn't look right. Like, it wouldn't look right. It wouldn't look right. <laughs> what, his prim and proper ass in the air? <laughs> oh. Yeah, my ass is prim and proper. I don't have, do not have a hairy ass. So I not, got a hairy ass. I don't give a shit. I am so good on that fucking Listen, point. listen. I don't give a shit. I have a I hairy ass, shit. okay? I have a mad ass. Man ass. Listen, not man that ass. doesn't make his ass any less manly than yours just because there's not a hair on it. <laughs> Who cares? Who cares? Listen, listen, listen. I got a hairy ass. 
Wait, and I'm not what proud of it. Diego's Carrasco again. That's right. Diego's Car- Diego's Carrasco. All right. So Janet, talking about wait a minute. Janet asses. said, "Would you rather yeah. be left for a guy or for yeah. a girl?" I would rather not be left. Period. But if it was going to be left for anybody, I would be. It would be. How a about girl. this? I, mean, I don't want to be. I, I don't want to be left. I want to be right. Why is it? Why does it always have to be left? Exactly. There are right-handed people in this country. God yes, damn it. and hey. I'm one of them. The hey. <laughs> the fucking iron with this. All right. See, hey, he has to go get checked because he's over forty. Yeah. It's, I have to have some it's fucking. It's gonna happen, and have we have might even talk about it on the show. Three fucking rubber gloves stick his finger up my ass. <laughs> All right. Prepared the long rubber so, gloves. So believe it or not, the fist of fury. <laughs> last week. There was an uprising. So if I shave my ass, does that make me no, gay? No, it does not no. make you gay if you have a, not a hairy ass. If your ass is clean, shaving it Shut does up, not Carol. make you gay. My ass is not. My ass here is not that long. All right. All right. Wait, maybe so, my balls. Uh, oh, this isn't the article that I wanted. Why did this article pop you up? Can French <laughs> braid I wanted your this ass. one. You can't French braid my ass. All right. So <laughs> last week. No. As people were you know, were fucking scrambling oh, yeah, and like, trying yeah. to post shit on Facebook <laughs> and Instagram, because they, they, both, they were both <sighs> fucked up. For okay? a whole day. For yeah, a whole yeah, day. a whole day, yep. Now, all right, mm. so basically, people had plenty of time on their hands, and it again, it didn't fucking work? Jesus Christ. I fucking set this shit up already. All right, here we go. Motherfucker. I don't know. All right, so... Apparently, Pornhub Uh-oh. had a huge spike in users and viewership while Facebook went down for the full day last week. Now, I will honestly say... Oh, fucking killed my time off. Didn't have to fucking... I went to Blaze sleep. the fucking mayonnaise bag. Didn't have to wax the carrot. Flog the dolphin. Play with Willie the <laughs> one-eyed wonder worm. Oh, no, boy. I didn't do any of that. Facebook didn't work. I used YouTube. However, apparently Pornhub and a lot of the horny bastards that you motherfuckers are yep. went to Pornhub and said, hey, right? I'm going to watch something and diddle myself at the same uh, time. Uh, Mm. Well, 24 actually, hours of diddling. Well, actually, well, I have to say, uh, I I was only concerned with the Facebook outage because of my job. Because my business Facebook page is where a good majority of my customers message me because that's where I have my contact information. So when Facebook went out, um, I had orders going out the next day and I had no way of anybody getting in touch with me. You know, like, I couldn't get into my messages. They couldn't message me. We couldn't respond back and forth. So it was a little inconvenient. Maybe inconvenient is the word. Not life devastating or anything, but inconvenient for the day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See, it, 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 it's crazy. But see, honestly, with the whole thing with them going to Pornhub, the Instagram and Facebook. Wait a minute. What was the other thing that happened when we said the Pornhub Things went up. Do you remember the other story that we did? Well, we also had the the fact that Pornhub was hiring at one no, point. No, no, no. It was some Shit. other catastrophic event. Thirty-five thousand dollars for um, a home video that we had talked about in the past. <laughs> what? You know, I have videos that I got on my phone. Pornhub for the day. <coughs> Pornhub you know, pay you Wait a minute. For a home Wait a minute. I remember video. what it was. Do you remember when Game of Thrones ended? Yeah. And they said that more people were watching Pornhub on Sunday nights because they because Game of Thrones had ended, they had nothing to watch. Mm-hmm. That was the story. I mean, by I mean, the way, there's no. only 24 more days until Game of Thrones. Yes. Thursday. April 14th, motherfuckers. Yes. 24 more yes, days. Yes, I can't wait. Now, but check can't this out. Now, see, wait. Now, see, now, now Too see, long. I understand why the Instagram people will go to Pornhub because right. if anybody go on, see on my Instagram page, I got a lot of ass on my Instagram page that I follow. Females. Your own ass? Shut up. Well, my sometimes my own ass, but like not not. And I'm serious, though. You got you females. Post pictures of your hairy behind on Instagram. Pictures no fool. No no no. <laughs> no 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 no. Watch this. No 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 no. I mean no seriously. Like on on Instagram, you got females that basically that try to sell <laughs> shit on Instagram, talking about pay for my premium Snapchat. Fuck you. And then I'm like, wait a minute. I'm like, first of all, I'm not paying for a naked picture. Okay. 
I can get a free a free a free naked picture easily. Why the fuck am I paying like fucking twenty five dollars, ten dollars for that shit? But then also too, they have video live video stuff like that that they right. do well videos. So now I understand basically some of the videos may be on Pornhub. You know, instead of basically paying that much for that <laughs> shit, and you can maybe go to um, Pornhub. And I'm just saying, you're maybe you're shaving your ass on Pornhub. Yeah, but think of it this way no. though. You want me to check? Think of it this way though. Ah, no. If you are, I can see if, if there's you people are that shave there. The I don't know. I won't go on Pornhub. It gives you that money. works in an Viruses. office. I know. Not really. Or it's let's us. say you work in the public, right? Yeah. And obviously, if let's say for example, Facebook, which as of last year, the end of last year had over two billion, billion, yep. billion users on it, okay? Now, two billion people, okay, don't have Facebook for like half a day. Yeah. There is no way in fuck. In fuck. If you are at work, <laughs> on a bus, on a train. In fuck. Anybody, anywhere else out in the public. Good night, Jen. That night. you are jumping on Pornhub. In public, I'm sorry, that's not happening. I mean, if you jump, you if can't you be sitting on the fucking two train, going up to the Bronx on Pornhub with a fucking train full of people. <laughs> you may end up basically I'm having sorry. a sorry. You may having a strong forearm. You'd be sitting right there. Yeah, but how are you? It's summertime. How are you gonna hide yourself spanking your monkey on the train? You can't. Exactly. You can't. Not that's... nowadays. People will film you. A, 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 yeah. <laughs> They'll be like, look at this motherfucker right here. It'd be on camera like this. Wait a minute, do you remember the article? Oh no, I think I told you about it. The guy that was on the train. Um, there was a guy that jerked off on the train. Yeah. And then he wiped it on the pole. Now, how many of us ride trains? Well, which one are you talking about? Okay, it was the Q train. <laughs> No, I, I mean, yeah, okay. All right? Uh. Q train, um, I know. But okay, Get out, so let's you. put it this way. You touched that pole how many times when you're standing on the train? Uh, you done fucked up my image right now. I'm, I'm like, oh. Now, picture that guy doing that shit and wiping it on the fucking pole. Now you've touched it. Now you go to work. <laughs> you touch shit. That's like that. That's like the, the Dave Chappelle joke. You just touched some guy's spunk off the pole. He said spunk. That's like that. Jay, that's like the Dave Chappelle joke when the, when a homeless guy came on and dude was like, "Oh, it's a biological chemical attack." Oh, it's just a, and then we're gonna, and they caught him in the head and the forehead. Yeah. Dave Chappelle uh, pooping he in said, slow motion. He said, "No, no, not that one." No, no I'm just saying. He this. said, <laughs> "You put this shit together." There's a homeless guy out trying to hold it, hold the bus up while masturbating. He's like, "You spread your spread your tits together. You put your thumb in your ass." What? <laughs> Yeah, it was a, a day Chappelle, it was a Dave Chappelle stand up. Um, you know, I don't know, so many fucking people are petitioning for Dave Chappelle to come out of retirement to parody R. Kelly's fucking interview with his little fucking Hollywood Wait act. A minute. That'd be amazing, Melinda. <laughs> just because you don't live here does it mean that people have oh, gross things exactly out in Cali? Exactly. Touch a bus. Remember, remember, you There's have you have trains too, you know. There's buses. Yep. There's shit. I mean, just imagine if you're in San Francisco and you have to ride the trolley. Touch a door. Almost do all the time. Cars. Oh, oh my god. Listen to me. I'm not a germaphobe by any means, but touch a door handle that nine thousand other people have touched going in and out of the bathroom. Yeah. Gross, I, I, man. Yeah, I don't know. Right. Sorry. Oh my god, that's just crazy. Crazy motherfuckers, crazy. I don't know. I can't believe how much crinkling noise that that just made. <laughs> she said crinkling. Hey. Now I'm eating M&M's. Oh, you got, you got M&M's? You tell Come on. Oh, you're not eating They're those fucking ones. jalapeno M&M's, are you? No. no, the toffee ones. Oh. Do you want to try one? Ooh. Sure. Wow. Uh -huh. Not bad. I'm going to give it a little one. Wait, are they peanuts or regular? Peanuts. Oh, never mind then. No, are you allergic to peanuts? No, I just don't like the uh, the peanut M&M's. You, you like nuts in your mouth? You just, yeah. I'm I saw the nuts in my mouth. <laughs> Wait a minute. Now, this uh, is the second thing that I'm trying that's oh. another taste thing, right? Yeah. Because M&M's mm -hmm. now has three new flavors. There's oh, Thai man. coconut, which I happen to like because it's coconut and chocolate. I'm going to try that, the, the Thai coconut. This is toffee nut. Kicked in the mouth. Whoops. Whoops. Which kind of tastes a little butterscotch-ish. Butter Maybe that's really the good. word I really want to use. tastes really good. And the other one is jalapeno nut. 
Now, I've ha not had enough bowls to try that one yet. 7-Eleven. I know, they have them. I just, <laughs> Jalapeno I just nut. don't feel like chocolate should be spicy. All right. Thank you. Or, or have a hot nut in your mouth. Now, well, what about what I showed you, the fucking spicy fruit by the foot? I've... I've had the hot and spicy Starburst. Oh, the sweet heat? The sweet heat Starburst. That's not like a name of porn. They sweet were heat, fucking starring hot Nichols. as hell. Did you ever try them? I can't By the way, they had, my tongue we was have on a fire. viewer that wants to send us some cookies. Cookies? Hey. Okay. Who? Uh, cookies? Sharon Patricia Watkins says she's going to try to send us some cookies. That would be awesome. That'd be nice, huh? That'd be nice. I yes, that, I agree. Yes. The I didn't caramel know that fucking M&Ms are the best. The what? The caramel M and M's, the best. They are pretty good. Oh my fucking oh, god! Oh, but wait a minute. Which ones did we have that night? Was I it will, the raspberry crunchy ones? I will yes, risk I love those. The raspberry crunch ones right? were outrageous, like I chocolate will, oh raspberry. My god. So freaking good. I will fucking good. risk the diabetes. To All right. Eat those fucking so caramel. Listen, I didn't get this ass not trying these things. I'm sorry. It's been a while on our show since mm. we've had an appearance by this article. Or this item. Wait a minute. So, so, I'm sorry. Hold that thought. Sean, what's the deal? Chocolate uh, shrimp. I, I, I thought I liked you, but you don't like coconut shrimp. What? Coconut shrimp with the fucking mango listen, sauce? I know oh, that. Listen, listen, it's good. not everybody's fucking cup of tea. It's not everyone's right? forte. <laughs> yes, but not everybody likes coconut. You don't like coconut, right? But, but I would eat that. That's the weird part. Coconut shrimp, oh my fucking god, I love Sweet it. Sweet ass. Sean is already, uh, not Sean, Drew has already been <laughs> exonified no, from the entire he thing. he hates coconut everything. He also doesn't eat peanut butter. Mm. At all. Mm. I don't know. Weird people don't eat peanut butter. Hey, I Sorry, don't like Drew. peanut butter. I eat peanut butter. I don't like it. I, I love peanut you butter. You don't like peanut butter anything? But the funny thing is, I can, I guess because it's like different peanut butter, if it makes sense, I'll eat a Reese's cup, but I can't eat like a spoonful of peanut butter out of a jar. Shit, I could. Fuck that shit. Uh, I, uh, I don't. And matter of fact, I used to make that. I used to make. I could my, live when, I used, when, when, when I used to make my smoothies, I put peanut butter in the shit. Really? Hell yeah. Peanut butter somebody, is my thing, man. Somebody actually tried. And I I swear to God. You know, people say, "Oh my God, I felt nauseous." It was true though. That's it. Oh there man, it is. that was Come it. On. That, that listen, was not listen, a man. I had fucking. This is not build. a competition. It's gonna build. That was listen, not a man fight. This is not a competition <laughs> because once you let it go. It gives them permission um, to let it go. I let, and I let, I'm here. They need to wish their lucky stars that they were not here Tuesday night. Okay? Vomit. It was vomit situation. Because it didn't even make a sound and it burned your eyes. <laughs> All right? It was. So let's not even fucking go there. Oh, so <laughs> besides his uh, lack of man fart, because I'm sorry, dude, that was a baby fat. Um, It's going to smell. Yes. I had corn. The... I, I I had fucking Rubens tonight for dinner. Oh my god! I had corned beef tonight too. Oh, it was the last oh. of my corned beef and cabbage from St. Patrick's Day. James okay? Spring, thank you for liking our page. Yes, yes. Stop it! <laughs> the two. I swear on my life. What'd you tell you, nasty? I'm bastard. bringing a fucking gas mask. Oh, you rotten oh, baby. Well, ate a burrito. Oh. Right? That wasn't. That wasn't. No, no. 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 I had. I had the wings. Oh, out of links from uh, from um, right? 11 yeah. Do you, hey, does the dog like the peanut butter on your balls? Because if that's the case, Somebody, you know. yeah, yeah, good, good. Good. I hope you choke on your own shit at this point. You know what? Gross. I'll, I'll, I'll choke on one of one, one of them chips. Sucker. Oh, you a sucker. <laughs> All right, should we? Can we get on with this here? Yes. You, you want to choke right. on something? Somebody put peanut butter and jelly on a hot dog. That's all I could say. Yeah, I've seen that before. I've seen yeah, that before. yeah, I had that same look. But you know what, though? I'm not going to lie. I put peanut butter on chicken. They tie, tie peanut, is it peanut sauce? When well, they well make you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. They use a lot of peanut butter. Yeah. It's a peanut, peanut butter peanut, based peanut, sauce. It's a, a peanut, peanut oil, yeah. Is so that why? I put peanut butter on chicken. It, it, like the satay that's on the, that's on the, the, the whatchamacallit, on the, the sticks. Yeah, yeah. When Thank you. When you barbecue it, I put peanut butter on it. Is right. that why Thai curry is amazing? I'm sorry. Is that why the friggin' cold se uh, the cold noodles at a Chinese restaurant taste like peanut butter? Yes. Yes. They use sesame sauce. Yeah, ses or sesame, yep. or sesame or peanut sauce, butter. Yep. I'm yep. not eating that anymore. No, no, I've mm. had that. Why? It, you didn't it's, die it's and you okay. like it, don't you? No, not, not anymore. It tastes like peanut butter. Oh, stop it! You didn't know what it was. You wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Just get this out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. What Here happened? we go. Where, where are we? <laughs> All right. So they have not made an appearance on the show in a while. Yes. <laughs> the sex dolls return. Yes. Oh. Now, <laughs> I wish you had like the music in it. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> so, Enzo says, uh oh, there goes Karasu laying out the gas from his ass. Oh, God. Damn right. A hey, married man too. sleeps with his sex doll four days a week, and his wife doesn't mind it. Now, what? all right. And Without like, oh, even wow. reading the article, okay? Wow. Now, obviously, the title is. Self-explanatory. Mm -hmm. Okay? He sleeps with a doll that doesn't talk, doesn't fucking do anything. My kind of woman. Okay? And apparently he thinks this is okay. But when you say he He's sleeps also... with it, does he actually just sleep with it or no, he fucks it? he has sex with it. Bro, oh, okay. bro, And bro, he takes bro, her out bro. for dates. Oh. Without a seatbelt! <laughs> he takes the doll out for dates. So wait a minute. Wait, now, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. So wait, 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 and seeing your husband That's with his shit. doll date at the next table. And then she calls you and goes, did you know that your husband is out with a doll? And then you have to go, oh, yes, it's his girlfriend. I allow it. He's probably going to have sex with her when he gets home. She did it so white girlish. Do you know that your husband's out with a doll? <laughs> First off, let, let, let us, let us kind of analyze, or analyze. as we normally put it, and not analyze... This fucking <laughs> picture here of this sex doll, okay? First off, the fucking thing doesn't look real. No, it, it doesn't. It, it has looks sex like though. It's, it's, titty, it's titties are very perky. First off, they're not even. They're not. Okay? The tits are not even. The right tit is about two inches smaller than the left tit. Um, no girl's boobs are ever even unless they're But it's left not that, 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 like that, that, two that, inches off. True. My, Sorry, my, my boobs aren't even you. either. But it, my boobs aren't even either. Oh, well, this we know because you're fucking not fucking in My left boob is bigger than my right one. But, again, okay, so... <laughs> it is. Okay. They're never symmetrical. The face, real my balls are uneven. Real boobs the face on the doll <laughs> is very prosthetic. Yes. Okay? Very. <laughs> very prosthetic. Okay? The lighting in the picture doesn't give it any fucking justice. No. But, but my balls are uneven, though. Can you scroll up with it? Because I believe there are other pictures. Put up her ass. Let's see here. Her ass. Her ass. First day. <laughs> he looks like an English teacher. He looks like a fucking science teacher. <laughs> okay. Second Ooh, off. Which, which, like a, moon, a music composer. What the fuck can is we, that Can we analyze that the neck <laughs> and the head of the doll, if you squeezed it too hard, that the fucking head would pop off? We need to choke the shift so it's fucking it. Like, I hate him. Like, oh, it's just head. Oh, baby, your head fell off. Oh, look, I, I hate back. him. Look right. like teacher was. Oh my god, there's more than one. He looks like a professor. <laughs> Apparently he has three of them. Fucking white people. <laughs> Look at it. He looks like an English teacher. Like a Wait a music minute. Composer. He just said, if I had to choose between April and my wife, I honestly don't know what I would do. You don't know if you would choose your fucking wife who's allowing you to fuck these fuck dolls over a doll? Um, first off, the doll's, the, 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 the sex doll's name is Oh Harmony. my god! Wait, 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 what's the, what's the sex doll name? Harmony. He looks like a scientist. Okay. <laughs> and apparently this doll <laughs> is designed to talk, smile, and react during sex. But it won't make you a sandwich. Does it do anal? <laughs> it does I don't you think want so. It to do. I think so. And it won't <laughs> queef after you do it. I mean, it may have some air... <laughs> You know, I what? sincerely doubt that. You know what? I I, I, I don't know how. So I get off of Wait a doll. minute. Can you scroll well, I mean... just a smidge higher? Because it speaks about his wife Tina at the bottom of this. Let me see this. I have to read minute. what it says. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Is that a black sex doll? No. No, 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 no. It's it's. it's... Uh... Oh. It could be a stupid face. Pal. 
<laughs> yeah, I just needed to go up just a little bit more. Oh my dear. Oh, Thanks, Enzo. I appreciate it. I know, but it. I have to wait for it to be here because I can't read it on your screen. <laughs> That's so insane. I'm going to laugh myself onto the floor. <laughs> Enzo said you're already gone. Uh, I mean, I mean, like, uh, uh, I'm sorry, but. Okay, I, wait I can, a second. I can, says, I can never basically choose uh, a sex It says his <laughs> wife, Tina, was initially uncomfortable with the entire situation, but she eventually came <laughs> around and understood the bond her husband and the doll had. <laughs> How do you have a fucking bond with rubber? <laughs> um, Only when it's around your wrist. Or your cock. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. But... This is bullshit. <laughs> but I'm sorry to tell you that oh, if you think, if you honestly think that a sex doll is going to replace a real human being, that ain't happening. Now, Al, we we all have a mutual friend, okay, <laughs> who says after he's done laying pipe, ask his wife to make him a sandwich, okay. Now, uh, this Lynn. sex doll is not gonna get up and say. Hi, honey. Yeah, I'm going to make you a turkey on rye with spicy mustard and provolone cheese. That's not going to do it. Nope. The only thing I find fucked up <clears throat> is the wife is doing the dishes and her husband tries to put the doll in the dishwasher. This says, <laughs> this says the sex doll named April is a five-foot latex doll that costs $2,613.87. He just paid for pussy. James revealed that he got into a relationship with April after his wife started caring for her ill mother. So he is replacing moron. his wife. You're a fucking moron. You insensitive bastard. You plastic fucker. I, I don't even... <laughs> I don't even have words for this. I don't have words every time we do this. these stupid articles about these dolls. So you mean Whoa. to tell me this man basically started a fucking doll because basically Wait a his wife is... She said if he really wanted to, he could have gone out and found someone else, but he didn't do that. He was true to me. Oh, You're a no, fucking no. idiot. You plastic fucker. <laughs> you fucking... I can't even deal with this. You fuck... You know what? Oh. You know what? It makes you into a pedophile. Why? Because you fuck Cabbage Patch Kids, you fucking asshole. Now, we really, we, we find a lot of... Karadu? <laughs> Karadu? I can't even. <laughs> you plastic fucker. All right, so <laughs> we, have a, we have a video. Wrapped in plastic. Of another fucking it's stupid fantastic. idiot. This is the best thing. Did you see okay? this? No, no. Now, let me just set the scene for the fucking radio oh, people, boy. all right? This is not in the United States. This is an Asian video. Okay, this oh, is an so Asian all. video. Stupid video. So if you get offended, <laughs> sorry, I can't fucking help you with that. That is the style of our show. You know what? You know what? If you get offended, so fucking what? Oliver's now watching. Stop it, stop it. Oliver's now watching. <laughs> he will get a kick out of this video. Okay? So the scene is, um, There's Melinda a wants to know if... The wife cleans up the doll after he has sex with it. Probably because she's a sucker. Well, she's, next to uh, I mean, I mean, if she's a sucker, of course she probably um, have good head. All right, so now know. this video is a guy trying to cross the street during traffic. Okay, now I'm not putting on the audio for this. It's just going to be video only. So pay attention <laughs> for the the actual video. <coughs> So this guy comes across the middle of the street with a plastic fence. Apparently <laughs> in Asia they use plastic fences. Hotel. So he decides to try to climb over the fence. Oh! Loses his balance. Oh! His leg gets Shit. stuck. Domino and effect. takes down the entire fence okay. in the middle of it traffic. It never came up on the screen here. Oh shit. Hold on. So nobody knows what you're talking about. Well, now, now it will come up. Hi, Lynn! Lynn's been here for fucking 30 seconds, I'm honey. sorry, Jimmy's big head is in my way. I can't I see the screen. I don't have a big head, goddammit. You yes, do, you it's do. giant. Bullshit. <laughs> it's huge! Pain train, cabbage patch, doll bomb? <laughs> All right, so when it comes up, you'll see. But he just tries to climb over the fence, and his foot <laughs> gets stuck, and one little piece falls, and then the whole fucking fence falls. Domino effect. Nice. 
uh, again, like, I don't know why people are so fucking stupid. They always tell you to cross at the fucking corner anyway. He fucking deserves this shit. And what I like is that nobody tries to help him. No. Why? Because not even the people in the cars <laughs> no, want to fucking do stops. anything. Nobody stops. Look. Nobody stops. Even the guy on the bike just looks at him. You know what his name is? <laughs> you dumb fuck. That's his name is. <laughs> you dumb fuck. The guy on the bike doesn't even get off. He just keeps going. His oh, wait, name there is, he goes. He got off the bike. His name is. You dumb fuck. <laughs> Stupid face. You like, dumb I, fuck. If you have to be that fucking stupid to fucking oh, do that shit, my God, I'm sorry. I don't know. I really think you just need to be fucking hit in the head with a lead I pipe. I think it's hysterical. Stupid face. Dumb fuck. Well, but school. these are the kinds of things I find, and I just sit home and I laugh by myself. There it goes. We're talking about the clutch, oh, and everybody else is still talking fuck? about the guy with the sex there doll. Are you serious? Chinese sell it. Oliver, sell how would you even know that? For real. You know what? Don't you think the Japanese do that? Not not the Chinese. The Japanese actually do some shit like that. Linda Arroyo is watching. What's hey. going on, Miss Linda? She's. I think that's the first time she's watching the show. Uh oh. Probably for uh, Oliver last. says Chinese sell <laughs> dirty panties and vending You're machines. You're such a dirty fuck, Oliver. You really are. That just sounds kinky. You're a dirty fuck. He is. You're a dirty, dirty fuck. Wait, wait, wait hold on. It, does this mean that? Thank you. Does this mean that Sean's calling back for the turn of the week? Um, we do have, I, I have a specific one planned. I just do not have the setup for it currently. <laughs> I don't, I'm sorry. It was not scheduled in tonight's Thanks, episode. Thanks, D-Hay. D-Hay! <laughs> oh. My wire keeps getting stuck behind yeah, me. Yeah. Right. It's okay, so, I'll pull it out now, right? Once again, we got to do some shameless who, promo. All right, who was it? Who not me. was it? That was not, not me this me. time. Somebody fucking farted, because I'm going to die. <laughs> it's not me. All right, you know what? I confess. Yeah, Are thank you kidding? You. I did it. I did it. <laughs> the winner. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to. I hate you all. Speaking of farts, you know why what? Why do you hate all you know of us for I his farts? Hey. You know why I hate you too? Why? Because when you fart, it comes <laughs> up the back of the chair like a Funnel, right into my fucking nose. Linda, we week. will be doing more Saturday night shows. We will. Okay? How do you know Chinese don't wear underwear? Do you know this? Yeah, he does. No, 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 no. Sharon. <laughs> does she? Oh, does she know that? How do you know that we don't wear underwear? I saw. We do I have. Think... We do have some more shameless we... promo before we do the sneakers. I think we should. That this is. Why is it be shameless? My... This is going to be my fashion. Because we have to push it. It's a rolling thing. Yeah, you have to push it. Um, yeah. Again, once again, uh, I thank Chris Ripka for fucking purchasing. Ripka! Randy, a.k.a. Anthony Bullock. Bullock! Uh, and quite a few people. Quite others that people. I can't mention their names because they specifically said no. Can't mention their names. But we are running all of this, this <laughs> stuff on the t-shirt site, <laughs> threadless.com. Shirts are going Fast. Uh, limited edition paint train pipe bomb established 2017 t-shirt. Dragon titties. Uh, multiple sales on that as well as our Mad Hatter t-shirt, which is probably one of our top sellers anyway, uh, before. But uh, jump on the sale prices. They are fucking amazing. Uh, you'll get your merchandise within a week. Good quality stuff. Uh, it's pain train pipe bomb dot threadless dot com to purchase your merch. Like I said, the uh, est established 2017 t-shirt will be around for exactly five weeks. Five weeks. And then it's gone. Then it's gone. What do you say? It is gone after that. It is so, gone after uh, that, so... Head there and check it out. Uh, there are plenty of... like Michael McDonald. Uh, Drew says he ordered a shirt earlier. Uh, um, can doing? I just say something? Sure. If you order a shirt, take a selfie with it on. I want you to send it to one of us because I'd love to put it up. <clears throat> on the Instagram on page and in the show Instagram page. Instagram page and on our Facebook page. Um, yeah. I like that stuff. So he says he ordered one in red. The black awesome. Band, yeah. But like I said, if yeah. you order a shirt... Take a selfie, take a mirror picture, take whatever you're going to do, send it to us. We'll put it up on our Facebook page. Yeah. With the black man, yeah. Yeah. 
All right. Uh, while our weather meteorologist guy. is getting ready, aka our a gynecologist. Yeah. Yes, our gynecologist. Can you imagine Sean as a gynecologist. Spread them wide. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> we have to do a pap smear. Oh, oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> I can't even deal can, with that. Can you imagine Sean as a gynecologist? Stop. He'd be the yo. He'd be the funniest gynecologist. I'm telling you, that'd be awesome, man. We do have a uh, Ashley's watching, all What's the way from going Phoenix. On Ash? We got a whole bunch of people going on there. Where are they going? I don't know. Okay. So we have. I'm telling we, you, man. Sean would be a great gynecologist. We normally on this show do a. He's, he's ready. Fashion segment. Sid is ready. All right. Uh, we're gonna do this first se fashion segment. Then I'll have Sean call in. The gynecologist. Um, yes. How come our... you don't want to put out a freaking I have a hairy ass t-shirt? I'm going to I'm gonna pull the article up. Yeah, because I have the preps. I, I want to be able it, right? to read it. It's like a meme. We'll have a donkey with an afro. That's it's all. like a mean you heard me? segment of yours. You hear me? We'll have a donkey with an afro. Oh, sure. <laughs> a hairy ass. By the way, I like to, I, I'm going to show this to everybody first before uh, oh, yeah. I, I scroll the ad down. I fucking hate them. Now, there's a thing on the screen that says... Do you want to be notified when some of your favorite products go on sale? And the two options say, heck yeah, and nope, I'm rich. Yep. Yep. Just saying that that, that had to be there. But um, go for it. Did the picture, because we still don't have a picture on this screen. So I'm hoping that it went through. It, it did go through. It, the, the picture was a little delayed with the comments. But the regular comments are good, so I think we're on delay also. Okay, there it is. Else. We're good. Okay, so every week I pick a fashion thing. This week, he it's these, it. yes. these <laughs> sneakers. So, um, Gucci selling sneakers that purposely look dirty for nine for close to $900. Um, it says, why should you have to dirty up a pair of sneakers all by yourself? When you could buy them that way, Gucci is going for the whole broken in look with a pair of sneakers that make you look like you've run a tough mutter in them. Yo, dude, um, <laughs> the men's screener leather sneaker features Gucci's famous red and green colors that appear like they could have been white at some point. Um, as you would expect, the luxury designer brand isn't cheap. These sneakers are sporting an $870 price tag. Who's fucking idea First off, that? let me let me explain something. Now, for those who wear white sneakers, which I, I stopped wearing white sneakers a long time ago, you know, the, the shits get dirty fast. And, you know, us in the hood, if we basically got dirty white, dirty white sneakers, we get a toothbrush with some soap and and scrub it off. But and then there'd be times basically where basically, you know, we, we use those as our basketball sneakers. To play basketball, you know, when I, when, you know, I didn't, wasn't a play basketball player, but, you know, you know, in, in that aspect. Now, to basically sell sneakers for $900 to make, to basically look dirty, you could do that shit for, like, free. So, it says... Like what the... Drew said. He said, it's like ripped jeans, I could just rip the ones right. I have. Exactly. So it says, our favorite part about the shoe is the cleaning instructions. Oh, Clean when the shoe is dry... Using only neutral or same color products to avoid staining. What the fuck are you staining? The shoe is fucking dirty. White girl anger. <laughs> For nine, <laughs> do you know how many pairs? Baker of, anger. Wait a minute. Do you know how many pairs of fucking Nikes I could buy with nine hundred dollars? Listen, I could buy an outfit. With, with with one of my nine hundred with like nine hundred dollars, not nine dollars for the outfit, but like first off, I could buy many many outfits for nine hundred dollars. Do you know what well, we I mean, can do with nine hundred dollars right now? Nine hundred dollars, I could go fucking round trip back and forth to fucking Phoenix twice. Yes, this is true. Okay, and that's carefully planned. Now, now being the fact that we're New Yorkers, right? New Yorkers, and we kind of we we kind of know all the underground shit. Yeah. Now these 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 are nine hundred dollars, right? Nine hundred dollars. Eight seventy. So why can we not go down to Chinatown, right, and buy a case of these things for like three hundred dollars? Cause you know, the knockoffs are just as good as the ones that you're gonna spend nine hundred dollars yes, on. Yes, they are. Yep. And, and you know what? I might yep. I might actually do this. 
we, we, we get a collection of 300 bucks, we go to Chinatown, and we buy these, and then resell them <laughs> for the fucking 875 that Gucci's selling them for. I mean, Nobody would know the fucking difference. I mean, don't get me wrong. Now they know because they we a, just announced it. But I'm a sneaker junkie. I am. Like, my whole, when I was first working, I worked three jobs. I had Big a pair of sneakers anger. to go out with every weekend. I had somewhere close to, like, 350 pairs of sneakers at one point. And if they look like that, I would toss them. I would never wear a pair of sneakers that look like that to go out on a Friday night. You're going to hang out in a bar. Would you wear those filthy fucking sneakers? I would! Yeah, but you're different. I'm a fucking sneaker guy anyway. I can care if they're fucking dirty, clean. I stepped in a pile. Well, I do care if I stepped in a pile of shit. But <laughs> not well, for nothing. They're fucking sneakers. Well, majority of my sneakers, basically, like my Converse's, majority of my sneakers are all black anyway. So this is why I don't buy white anyway, because they're yeah, gonna I get dirty. I haven't bought white, white sneakers, dirty sneakers. I can't tell you yeah. how long. I can't. But this this was obscene. Like I've seen Could, them, and I'm like. This Drew is says he's got 17 pairs of sneakers. Could you imagine him with a fucking toothbrush and fucking cleaner or toothpaste, fucking brushing those things down? Wait exactly. a minute. He'd go through fucking five to toothbrushes. You, I have to tell you one thing about Drew is he's very coordinated. Like his sneakers and outfits match. Like, he's very coordinated. So he has a lot of sneakers. Oh, shit. Why did this stop? I don't know. Well, I, I was hoping the comments fucking still were going on that. But, all right. Yeah, I know. Even the fucking, even the laptop is fucking just going crazy tonight. At least the show is going too but this, clean. But this was just well, the, uh, the fucking crazy. The comments over here are way, way behind. If you want to do... Oh, you gotta scroll. Wait down. a minute. Are we speaking to Sean or are we looking at the other pair of sneakers? Oh, um, we're going to have Sean call in now. Okay. Gynecologist. Because there is a limited edition pair of sneakers that I wanted to show you quick. Yes, Enzo, I do care about shit. Thank you very much. <laughs> I mean, stepping in a pile of shit sometimes is good luck. But the aftermath of dealing with the smell and the stuff stuck in the treading of your sneakers. And then you have to make That the really shit. just is horrible. Yep. And it is not the fucking greatest feeling in the world. It's not. So... Steven's comments are not showing up in the comment section again. Why? I have no idea. Why? It was happening to Drew forever. Why? I don't know why. I don't Listen, know why. the only thing I could say is reboot fucking Facebook. Reboot! And go from there. That was actually a good That time. is the only thing I can really tell you. What are you telling us? Uh, is that he has, to, he has to reboot fucking... Uh... Why are you telling us? See, he said... <laughs> He said, I match hoodies, shirts, hats, sneakers. I like to match from head to foot. He does. Sure. Hello. Are you there? Guys. The gynecologist. Wait a minute. Oh, we, Ricky was frozen for a minute with his mouth wide open. It was really funny. You guys frozen? No. No, I Let don't think go. so. Let it go. Let it go. Yeah, oh, so we we have rain today. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah. Heavy we rain. And it um, sucked. I I do think we're going to have strong winds on Friday. Uh, I mean, Saturday. More Saturday than Friday. It will be gusty winds tomorrow. I think we'll sit around the high of 48. Mm. There will be strong gusty winds on Saturday morning, so around 40 to 50 mile per hour gusts. Damn. Um, it will be clear, but we will have 40 to 50 mile per hour gusts. Um, Sunday, we will get some warmth. We'll have some warmth back. Before Monday, we are going to hit a bit of a cold snap. Monday through Wednesday, I expect highs not to escape the low 40s, upper 30s. And lows in the morning could be in the 20s. Mm. So, you know, yes, it is the first day of spring, but we do have this battle zone where we have cold versus warm. Vernal One of the reasons why is we have a trail of storms out in the Pacific, and they just keep coming. So that's really like bringing oh, some of that colder air down. We have this big trough that just keeps coming down in the eastern states. So we just can't escape that cold. It's Sean is in the same predicament. She's getting cold weather over in, in the, um, uh, excuse me, the Los Angeles area. Uh, and there will be some cold snaps occasionally for the hay, Alex. Um, the snow portion, I think we're done with. I don't think we have to worry about that. Mm. But I do think that, you know, there will be an occasional cold snap, at least until we get to the mid part of April. You know, I think that we will be dealing with these on and off cold snaps. So if you are planning to go to a Met game 
or a Yankee game, you might get a colder night one night, so you might want to bundle up to one of those home games that are late March, early April. So, you know, just putting a note out there. Um, speaking of, you know, stupid things that people have done, in the meteorology world, we deal with it too. Um, in Florida, with Hurricane Irma, I got reports that people were tr trying to shoot shotguns at the hurricane. Yes, that happened. Goddamn people, Hicks. Fucking people were idiot. shooting hurricanes. Well, in Florida, it's kind of a mix. It's kind of like the retired, it's some retirees of New Yorkers who go down there. The Southerners are more like what you get in Georgia. It's not really once you get south. Can you imagine Florida. shooting at it? We're going we gonna to take out this tornado right about now. We're going to shoot it down. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. Fucking and I came people. on and I was like blasting. I'm like, why are you shooting at hurricanes? I said, Fucking white people. Stupid that's why. fools. And they ended up shooting themselves. The wind would drive the bullet into themselves. I'm like, you fucking idiots. I you said, do, do you not listen nature? to anything I say? So you go down there and shoot hurricanes. I say, you deserve nothing but to be your own fate. You cannot go out there shooting hurricanes. You morons. <laughs> yes, that does drive up the meteorology anger. Anyway, quick review for Tehei. Tehei, I expect some cold and warm snaps. Again, being on the southern side of Dodge City, you'll probably get more warm than cold. I do think that the cold won't be long-lasting. Um, Shauna, I do think, fortunately, the, the Pacific storms are coming in a train, so you will have the cold snaps in Los Angeles. Um, <clears throat> same goes for Wade. I think you will have cold snaps in Las Vegas. Uh, coming out toward New York, you know, we will have a uh, big cold snap on Monday through Wednesday. Hopefully we can warm up, but we will have a few battles through um, middle of April. Also some gusty winds Friday into Saturday, so keep in mind that you know, if you have any loose garbage cans on the side, you may want to tend to those. You don't want garbage blowing down the streets. That's not really a good thing. Um, so anyway, that's the forecast, and I will be back on tomorrow night. Thanks a lot, Sean. No hey, problem, Sean, guys. Hey, Sean, Sean, Sean. Yes. Yeah. Listen, every time I see you put out, you know, you have models, I'm thinking yeah. basically you really had models. I'm saying, I'm like, yo, Sean, wait a minute. You got a, you got models you ain't telling us about? What's going on here, man? You got some, you got some chicks tied up in a basement and shit? Yes, modeling yes, a t-shirt yes. of, of, of... Not of, those kind of models. <laughs> yeah, I, know, I know, I know. I'm joking with you, bro. <laughs> I know, I know, Karasu. Yeah, I keep... I, the, those are the computer models. The real models I have in, in my closet behind me. Ooh. You got chicks in your closet? Yeah. Man, you didn't tell us this? Oh, no, my God. No, I didn't. Are you, wait, 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 wait. Are you actually trying not to become You're gonna understand a gynecologist I'm a gynecologist now? What do you uh, think? Yeah, see, he's a uh, guy. He's got a high What are you somewhere. thinking? I don't treat women in my uh, house. Ah, uh, you women. see? That's it. Ah. Uh, see, see, now you're learning. Now you're you, you learning. Sean just respect. revealed himself. He's actually a gynecologist. Awesome. All right, so I'll talk to you guys later. All right, All Sean. Right, thanks, later, a lot, thanks a lot, bro. Take it easy. <laughs> bye bye. Later. Later. Yeah. Now is Sean Matry, the pipe bomb meteorologist, AKA. The gynecologist. If you listen, if you need real deal weather fucking taken care of for your area, right. contact Sean. Yeah, he, he'll tell he you. He is fucking off the mark with the, the whole thing. Like, legit, legitimately on point. And gynecology. So, <laughs> on our second half of our sneaker fashion thing for the evening, Dunkin' Donuts is now advertising on fucking sneakers now i could see if you like it says you're running in a marathon and you need well, to advertise there is a reason okay so after the boston marathon after the bombing of the boston marathon um there were a lot of sponsors that tried to raise money later on for the runners of the boston marathon so this Last year was the first year that Dunkin' Donuts came out with a limited edition sneaker that people were wearing during the Boston Marathon. Now, I know there were limited amounts of these, and once they were sold out, they were sold out. So I believe this is the second year um, Dunkin' Donuts put out a special limited edition sneaker that's only being sold in four different places up in Massachusetts. For the Boston Marathon. Does it come with glitter? Um, no. I see glitter so, all the fucking floor, um, that's why. 
the sneaker brand Saucony. Is that how you say their name? Yes. Um, they're the ones that put out this shoe. Um, Shoes in Boston. And it is a hundred. Wait, let me see. A hundred and twenty dollars for adults. Sixty-five dollars for the kids. All right. So, a hundred and twenty dollars for fucking Dunkin' Donuts to be written all over your sneakers. Uh, I, I, I honestly, again, could go down to fucking Chinatown probably, <laughs> where they fucking. This is this is how these sneakers are made, by the way. These things are stenciled on. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's Dunkin' Donuts logo multiple times on a stencil, and they paper around certain edges, and they spray paint it. Pretty much. Okay? You probably can get these for like $60 in Chinatown, and $35 for the kids. You know what's so funny? They can they actually do that to fucking Converse's. Like, Converse, you can, you can do that. They, they, they do that with Converse's also. So... Why in the fuck am I paying hundred twenty something dollars, one hundred twenty dollars, something like that, basically, where I can go like to the to the nearest guys that could basically do shit for me when it comes to Converse's? If I had some white Converse's, make it into that, and that's it, and that's all she wrote. Your it's sister just... said she would fuck, she would wear the fuck out of them while eating a Boston cream donut. Well, she gonna pay one hundred twenty dollars. She's an idiot. <laughs> you know what though? If it is going for a good cause, I probably would do it. But if it's just to fucking sport the Dunkin' Donuts logo, then I might have an issue with it. They go on sale tomorrow, by the way. And um, last year, they were sold out very, very quickly. So my advice is, if you want them, see if you can get them tomorrow. Because after I, that, they won't be there. I'm sorry. I honestly will tell you, though, um, they do look kind of cool. But I am not a huge Dunkin' Donuts fan. I'm not. Their coffee tastes like fucking swill. All right? <laughs> the only thing that they are really good for is their fucking donuts. That's it. They're I'll, not done for anything else. I'll be honest with you. I hate to say this because you know, if I had to put my back against the wall, I'd drink their coffee more than I would drink Starbucks. Thank you. D, hey, if you were to call in, you'd have to Skype in. You don't have my Skype. Um, this... Needs to be done. Okay. And anorexia. Let me uh, prep that for the uh, screen. And anorexia. Now, you're going to have to watch it a few times, the video, to understand why I'm showing it. And anorexia. This was a, le by the way, this next piece is a, was like legitimately a last minute fucking uh, submission. All right, so. To the show. I watched this because it was a commercial on Facebook. Now, again... What is, what is the commercial about? I catch a lot of things on Facebook very quickly. So I noticed that this particular person... This is an advertisement for Miro deodorant. Okay, now you know they have all those sponsored ads that come up on Facebook. This was one of them. So Miro says it uses no aluminum, no parabens, no silica, no chemicals. It's all recyclable stuff. And they have this girl, who's beautiful, dancing very seductively applying deodorant. Now, I don't understand what is so sexy about deodorant, first of all. But what really got me is when I watched it for the second time... This woman, while applying this deodorant, has a large amount of armpit hair. <laughs> now, we've talked about this, about how I loathe body hair on women. Like, it's just one of those things that should not be done. So, not only is she dancing like she's on a stripper pole putting on fucking deodorant. She is a pole. Look at her. But she's applying that very natural deodorant to her very natural hair arm hairy she's armpit. got mosquito bites for titties listen that is what we deem the carpenter special so i mean yeah see she had the body of a 12 year old boy I, i'm sorry <laughs> i i i listen, I, don't think she's, and I'm like, I think she's a beautiful woman she is I she think is, she she's is. a beautiful first of all her eyes are outrageous of course because i'm an eye person but the armpit hair <laughs> Yeah, that's that's a little extreme. And the like sexy I'm putting deodorant on dance. I mean honestly Why is that necessary? I mean <laughs> I mean Let's I mean go. actually 
<laughs> oh god, there's germs, there's smells. I can't. But I, okay, actually, I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay, it is kind of sexy seeing a woman basically wash up and actually put deodorant on because you have some females that I've seen before that I've known before that have not wore deodorant. Drew says she uses dental floss for a bra. Oh, stop it. Why are you guys so critical? She's got mosquito bite titties. Tiny boobs. They yeah. are what they are. They're band aids. They are yeah, what they are. She uses band aids. She uses tape. But this. Scotch tape? Yeah. But the. The sexy. I mean, but you know, she she is pretty, but hairy armpit dance got me a little bit. <laughs> I hear fro. Give us some jungle crack. <laughs> oh, I can't. I, can't. I don't know. Like I, I I sit there and watch some of these commercials. Like I I really want to uh, contact Manscaped. Yes. And see if they would advertise on our show because their fucking advertisements are, are fucking hilarious. Hysterical. Should, should we play the Jungle Crack commercial for that? Um, I don't think it warrants the Jungle Crack commercial for that. She's got hair in her pits. Yeah, uh, but that's for no, hair on your but that's ass. For got hair, she probably got hair in her tits, too. She probably got hairy nipples. If she's oh. got hairy nipples, that's a problem. She's probably got a hairy ass. <laughs> she's definitely got a hairy ass. Sharon wants know. to know if you're an eye person. No. Well, maybe sometimes, but no. I'm I only know, about I only know one thing about eyes. Eye, eye. <laughs> That's I'm all it. about That's all somebody's eyes. If you have beautiful <laughs> eyes. I mean, we do have the... Ooh, uh, that's my thing. <laughs> they were like, whoo. Uh, uh, unfortunately, fucking people on the radio can't see that. Exactly, right? <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, uh, man. So far, so good. Skittle nipples. All right, so we have <laughs> exactly... Uh -huh. We have about 12 minutes. 13 okay. tops. Ow, ow, ow. I know, it, it is a little weird. Yeah. That's why I only use one. Yeah. Yeah. Hurt your ears after a while. Do yes, your ears yeah. sweat? I love all boobs. Ass is the action. Stop looking at my ass, D-Hey. Shit. <laughs> all right. Now, mm. I can say that in this room, there are three drinkers. Three. Three. Everybody knows Alcohol one, drinkers. two, three, four. Not me. No. He's a fucking lightweight now. What? I don't drink anymore. Get the fuck out of here. Like I said, okay. he's a fucking lightweight now. Get the fuck out of here. Lightweight ass. No, I don't drink anymore. <laughs> <laughs> fucking lightweight. The hairy ass. So, <laughs> in the chat, I want you to guys to type I want you to 696 guys. if you <clears throat> are an alcoholic, a... Even a little uh, that is like a social drinker. Fuck it. If you drink, okay, but, fuck it. Okay, I can go along with what you're trying to do, but there is a background story to this. I don't know if you read. Did you read the whole article? Yes. Okay. Which uh, this is which is the reason why you're going to be taking care of the article part of it. Okay. I'm not going to read. The, I'm not going to read the whole article. Ooh. But um. Ooh. Drew says he's getting back into drinking. Yes, because he didn't drink at all. Look at the freeze. Well, we definitely know that oh. and have me make drinks for him. Yeah, no, not at all. Because we know that. It will <laughs> yeah, not he go looks over like. Well. Um, he's like he about the nut. He's like like uh, 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 <laughs> like, like pre nut. Uh, <laughs> so there are no six nine sixes in the chat. So post ejaculation. You can't even fucking <laughs> lean into it. Post ejaculation. All right. Well, I can. I can. I Tell think. me when you're putting it it's on up. there. Okay. I'll, I'll, on this screen, it's up. All right. So the background story of this, I'm sure if any of you guys have watched the news, um, Nebraska and I believe Iowa had a crazy, crazy storm. And it is flooded beyond belief in yeah, Nebraska crazy. and Iowa right now. Um, they are doing a lot of relief efforts for them because there are so many houses that are underwater. Um, but in the midst of all of that, um, I found an article where it says two men found a mysterious fridge full of beer sent from the heavens in a muddy Nebraska field. Now these two guys um, <laughs> in this field found a refrigerator and when they opened it, it was full, like chock full of cold beers. 
So now, from what I'm understanding here, let me just pull the article up. Why this couldn't fucking happen in New York in my backyard, I have no idea. I mean, after Hurricane Sandy, the things that I found, I mean, we found records. We found, I mean, things that people just floated out of people's houses. Um, it says, after a day of cleaning his muddied property, Kyle Simpson, a Nebraska man, was craving a beer. As he and his friend Galen Stouffer began to trek to their car, they saw so, what appeared to be a fridge. That is so redneck. It was a fridge, and it was full of beer. Their story went locally viral in Nebraska. Then a stranger, Brian Healy, recognized the fridge as his family's fridge that had gone missing in the flood. Um, it just says earlier this week, a bomb cyclone swept through Nebraska, causing a million dollars worth of damage. Three people as of now died. Um, they decided to wrap up their cleaning at sunset and began a, a mile long walk through a chest high through chest high icy floodwaters to come home. As the men walked, Stouffer saw something in the distance that appeared to be a mini fridge. As they got closer, the men investigated, and it turns out it was a fridge, and it was full of ice cold bush and Bud Light to be exact. Ugh, bud, it was light. a gift sent from the heavens, and we were happy to see it, said Jason. Well, Tyson. just to clarify, drinking Bud Light is actually healthy for you because there's no corn syrup in it. I don't like Bud... No, 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 no. Bud Wise, I don't like. Bud Light... Bud Light has no corn syrup. I drank Bud Light last night at the bowling alley. Oh, wait, I'm not supposed to mention the bowling alley. Sorry. Okay, but either way, you're right. So it says, um, it was a gift sent from the heavens, and we were happy to see it, but we hope the people who lost the fridge were okay, and we hope their property was okay. Um, it didn't take long for the story to get back to the fridge's original owner, the Healy family, also of Nebraska, it says, Brian Healy said he immediately recognized the fridge because of the particular bush to Bud Light ratios that were mentioned in the article. Um, yeah. It said the mini fridge had been with the Healy's for over a decade, surviving a fire that destroyed his family's house in 2007. Um, but this particular fridge was swept four miles downstream from the house when they found it. So these guys spent the whole day cleaning out somebody's property from all of these storms. And they found a beer. All they wanted to do is have a nice cold beer at the end of the day and the heavens sent a refrigerator so it was full like, of it. So it was like, oh. <laughs> Pretty much, like that's what the guy was saying. We've got beer! But it was, it was washed <sighs> down the river four miles. Wow. From the family's house before they found it. You know what's so funny? I was listening to um, the song called Flood by Jaws of Clay before coming here. And for some reason, that just happened. That song just happened to pop in my head. And sure enough, this article came up. Are you surprised? No. When have we not had a week where there was one particular song that we listened to in the car, came on, and then all of a sudden it associated, say, associated itself with an article that we were doing on the show? It always happens every week. Every fucking week. If I can't swim after 40 days, then... Da, 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 and as I hear it for the second time, it's the same fucking thing on my right hand. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I mean, like, I just, I found this to be a little, you know. I mean, when we had the hurricane, there was a house that was for sale on the Jersey Shore that we found a sign in Rockaway um, from a realty company and people called the number and found out that that sign had traveled all the way from Jersey to Brooklyn for a house that was for sale on the Jersey Shore. I mean, the water comes from... Jersey Shore, know, huh? Looking the water boys. comes from, you know, when there's a flood like that, the water comes from everywhere. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Look at my arms. I got some big ass arms. I didn't realize that. Sean it's said slut. you need that in your backyard. <laughs> yes, I do. For real. Just have a nice cold beer in the backyard. I, I don't know about having it in the backyard. I'm not really an outside type guy when it comes to the drinking. I kind of like to be contained. The only reason why I like to be contained is, is if I'm outside, I get really, really loud. Perfect example, four years ago. Oh, Jesus. I, I... Just so happened to stumble across a case of Jack Daniels that said, take me home. 
And I, I, I brought it home and Melissa was like, you know, that may be a lot of drinking for you. And I was like, no, I think I'll be okay. So I start drinking after I get out of work at seven o'clock. Okay. The first court of Jack Daniels was gone within three hours. So by 10 o'clock, I'm good. I am really good. And I make my drinks heavy. So midnight comes. I'm now halfway through the second court of Jack Daniels. And because, you know, when you when New Year's comes and you go to call people, the phone lines are all fucking busy because there's millions and millions of people calling each other for fucking New Year's to wish each other Happy New Year's. Heineken sucks. I was leaving voicemails on people's phones where they had to have the phone down the block to listen to the voicemail. This is how loud I was. Okay? Because he just yelled into the phone, Why aren't you answering me? <laughs> Happy fucking New Year! And then would hang up the phone. He was angry. <laughs> he was angry that it's nobody like, was answering it's the like phone. He took the giraffe. <laughs> but... It's not like you if I was horse. inside making these phone calls, <laughs> if I was inside making the phone calls, <laughs> yeah. that I would be okay with. <laughs> yeah. I would be okay. I would not be and loud. I look like, I look like I'm picking my nose. He's giving a high five. Yeah. <laughs> it's because the video is freezing for, yeah. for some reason. As long as it's still going everywhere else. Yo. Yeah, it's still going. Yo. Me, me, I did it. <laughs> I blew it. Oh. <laughs> It's, I don't know. For the for some reason, the laptop is just like flipping out. Yeah, I don't know. But uh. Yeah, no. Ricky Ricky gets excessively loud when he drinks. He's loud Drew right now. He's talking fuck? about the Siberian Husky. Yeah. Um, I would love to see him, if he's on the return to drinking, have the four horsemen. I don't think he could do that. He's if, not a drinker if, like you if, are. If you want a drink. To sit there and go toe to toe with me, the four horsemen minus fucking ice. I'm game. No, I and am so I am not <laughs> becoming <laughs> like Karasu at all. I was just demonstrating Ricky's tone while he drinks. By the way, I'd like to know why Sharon is saying your dick. What? That's what that's what it's on there. I know that. It's, it's it says your dick. I'm not a dick. I'm an well, I am a dick, but I am an asshole. Five thousand plus percentage on Facebook said I was an asshole. Me so. too. Um, why don't you tell Drew what's in the Four Horsemen? Um, it is four different types of whiskey. That they caught, they layer. They put it all in there and they say, "Here, drink it." Basically, I am a deal. fucking, and, 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 and I hate to say it, like whiskey is like my main real deal. Out of all of the Jack Daniels, the only one I have not had is Gentleman Jack. So. Yeah, Janet, I laugh a lot when I drink, too. I think everything that I say is hysterical when I drink. Shit. Okay, so according to the phone, we have exactly two minutes left. So let's do our goodbye so we don't run so much over. I mean, we are early. You first. We started on time. We did. You first. Yes, we did. We actually did start on time. Very well. Very, let's go. Very good. All right. Say goodbyes. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, you're next. next. Estrogen in the room. I think my, this might be the first time I ever inhaled a potato chip. I'd like to thank you for it. I'd like to thank everybody who showed up. Um, keep bringing new people. Like yeah. stuff. Buy shirts. Yes. Have a good week. You. All right, guys. He's really fucking speechless. Yeah, I know. All right, guys. Uh, I'm sitting here waiting to be like, here we go. Good show. Good show. Good people on here. We had a good laugh. You know, we farted a few times. We? Um, you know, Siberian Huskies ran around and stuff like that. You know, we didn't have anybody naked shrieking <laughs> around here. Thank goodness. Um, I'm glad everybody, you know, showed up, you know, enjoy and tuned into us tonight. I'm happy, you know, we're back again on the show. Uh, as far as um, this, you'll hear this audio on. Uh, Mile High Radio, Saturday, between the hours of two, uh, 3 to 5? It's 3 to 5 Eastern 3 Standard. 3 to 5 Eastern Standard Time. So, you guys have a good night.
I'm going to work and PTPB Dragon Titties. Okay, so Enzo is actually talking about a project that we're working on. Um, that would be Arch Rivals Baseball. That is coming soon. Um, along to a with, chin near you. I'm doing a promo only because I'm a producer for the show. Um, and uh, yes, I know the Met fans will nice get hand. angry. 161 Murderers Row podcast. It is on Facebook. It is on Anchored FM. Check that shit out. Um, our show again, Spreaker, Anchor FM, YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, Spotify. We're all out there. And the last thing I was going to say is, again, a uh, limited edition shirt on threadless.com, Patriot Pipe Bomb. Oh. <clears throat> dot threadless.com. <laughs> we also have shop.spreadshirt.com forward slash Patriot Pipe Bomb. For other merch on there. Well, quickly. Um, Saturday, um, when I get the shirt Saturday, I'm gonna basically um do a live feed, not feed, a live feed with um with Mr. L right here, and I will basically show off the shirt, bitches. So until next week, goodbye and good night. Hey everyone, this is Karasu from Pain Train Pipe Ball. I hope you enjoyed the show as much as we did doing it for you. Please join the crew for our next broadcast, whether it's on Facebook, MyHighRadio.com, IPMNation.com, or even our YouTube channel. Don't forget to visit Redbubble.com or Shop.Spreadshirt.com forward slash Pain Train Pipe Bomb for our show merchandise. Thanks on behalf of Ricky, Jimmy, Melissa, me, and the Pain Train Pipe Bomb Army.